Uh, the big question here is whether this 22 year old was attempting to surrender. Vallejo police chief says that he was on his knees when an officer shot and killed him. Sean Monterosa was on his knees outside this Walgreens when a Vallejo police officer fired at him five times through his vehicle's windshield. One of those shots hit and killed the 22 year old who police say they believed was armed. The fatal shooting came after a night of multiple calls for looting, including to the Walgreens. Vallejo Police Chief Shawnee Williams said it appeared Monterosa was going to get into a getaway vehicle before changing his mind. This individual appeared to be running toward the back sedan, but suddenly stopped taking a kneeling position and placing his hands above his waist, revealing what appeared to be the butt of a handgun. Investigations later revealed that the weapon was a long 15-inch hammer tucked into the pocket of his sweatshirt. Chief Williams says the officer who shot Monterosa is an 18-year veteran. Chief Williams did not release his name. Of the two getaway vehicles filled with suspected looters that drove off, one rammed a responding police vehicle injuring an officer. Police caught the suspects from one vehicle in Contra Costa County. The suspects in the black sedan got away. Chief Williams said the department has made many changes since he arrived, including to its de-escalation policy. How is de-escalation used here? Well, I'll say this, ma'am. Um, when they responded to that uh, area, to the Walgreens, the intent was to stop the looting and to arrest any perpetrators if necessary. The officers reacted to a perceived threat. The department has 45 days to release body-worn camera video, but Chief Williams says he plans to do so sooner. Based on your experience of 27 years, was this excessive force? Like I said, uh, the district attorney is going to look at this, and our internal affairs unit is going to look at it. And you could hear there, Chief Williams did not want to answer that question. As for the officer who fired the fatal shot, he has been placed on routine paid administrative leave, and so have the witness officers.